In today's video, we'll try out Netscape version 9, Safari for Windows, Chrome 1 and Firefox 1 on Windows 10. So I have put them in the root of the drive here. Uh, let's start with Netscape. Whoa! Windows Smart Screen. User account control. Okay. So, as you can see, something is happening here. It is extracting this. Okay. Welcome to the setup wizard. I will accept the agreement. Let's try custom. Okay. Let's just click Next. Yes, it's gonna ask for a program group. Program groups are like uh, folders, for example. Like this. Like accessories, as you can see. So, let's click Install. You can see that it didn't pin itself to the taskbar. It has created a desktop shortcut. Here's Netscape. Let's launch it. Aha, uh -huh, so we can import bookmarks. Let's import it. Okay. Netscape.com. Now it's importing. And let's see what will happen. Okay. So it has loaded this pop up came. Given AOL's current business focus, support for Netscape will be discontinued on March the 1st, 2008. Okay. Okay. Let's try Netscape.com. I believe it will. Okay, okay. Oh. Uh... That won't work. This thing keeps appearing and Okay. It has loaded something. Okay, so under options advanced I believe we can select SSL three point zero and actually this was when I opened the web page, the home page. Let's try Google. Yes, it works. Let's just change. Oh. Anyway, what is the user agent string of the browser? Yes. It detects it, but it doesn't detect the operating system. Okay. Yes. So, this is the browser. Let's try Bing. So, Bing actually loads the image, but the browsing is. Actually, it kind of works, you know. It's kind of garbled, but it works. Yeah. So, this was Netscape 9.006 on Windows 10. Next up, Safari for Windows. Let's start the installer. Safari is a fast, innovative web browser for Mac and PC. And this is the old logo of Safari. Let's... Yeah, okay, I accept the agreement. So, install... Yes. Let's see. I will go with all four. Yes, okay. 
look at this icon and these are all like XP programs or maybe Vista Okay, Safari has been successfully installed. Let's see the program group. Ah, okay, they... They won't... Uh, they don't populate into... a folder, but rather just in the root of the start menu. Let's open Safari after the installer exi exits. Okay, so Safari also works from what I can see. So, it's trying to load apple.com here. This is probably Apple's homepage. It's trying to load some animations, probably. That's why they are kind of cut out, because the, the web page obviously requests dynamic content. Let's try Wikipedia. Oh, that's bad. Let's go on Google. Yes. Okay, so this also detects as Windows 8. Let's just try Bing. It's broken, but in a different kind of way. Let's try searching. Hmm, it's definitely less broken than the previous browser. So, here are some settings here. You can show the tab bar, you can show the status bar. I personally like the status bar. So there are probably many features here, and this was Safari 5.1.7. Let's continue. Let's try more popular browsers like Google Chrome and Firefox. We'll start with Chrome, but this is version 1.0.154, which is, I believe, the first ever release of Google Chrome, way back in 2008. So, it's actually been installing in the background. Okay, it has its program group. Okay. Keep Bing as the default search engine, wait. Okay, so it actually did import my Internet Explorer bookmark and it kind of works. I mean, it is it is broken, but uh, you can see most of it. And with typical 2008 simplicity, let's go to Google. I haven't used Chrome for a while, so let's... Okay, so it has ident identified my browser as Chrome 1. And it's still Windows 8. Yes, and it says Google here with the old logo. Uh, so let's try Bing now. Broken again, but hopefully, yes, we can search. Interesting that it is www.4.bing.com. Why is it so? I don't know. Anyway, now let's actually see some of the options. Yes, they were in a window back in 2008. Just want to see how many settings it's got under the hood, probably. Okay. Yeah, let's use SSL 2.0. Zero because we did have some problems before that. So 
yeah this is actually a really simple browser search your history this didn't even have a proper home page then other bookmarks downloads yes it was pretty simple so that was google chrome one now let's try firefox one i believe firefox one is one of the oldest, it was around 2004 though, I'm not sure, and let's see, it looks kind of classic, it's with the old font, which doesn't use clear type, anyway, let's continue, well, yes, I do accept it, the license agreement, let's try custom, Okay, Firefox. Let's try developer tools and uh, quality feedback agent. Yes. Okay. Yes, let's click next. So it is installing right now. I'm really sure if this will work. Use Firefox start. Yes. Let's go. Let's try Internet Explorer. Let's see if the favorites, the About Tabs favorites, will be imported now. So, uh, yes. Let's try and set it as the default browser. Whoa, what an old Google logo. So, let's try to do a search. I will accept the certificate permanently. Okay. Google works. Let's try the user agent stream. Okay, so it's Firefox 1. Still identifies it as Windows 8. Okay. Hmm. Interested develop interesting developer options. Firefox version 1. Now let's try Bing. I think the image won't load. But yes, it does actually. Will I be able to search? Search. Okay. <laughs> so it is garbled, but it kind of works. Okay. That's it. Please subscribe. I will see you in the next one.